A small idea could one day have a big impact on Louisiana's eroding coastline. Olivia Vidal shows us why scientists have turned their attention to glass bottles to help fight land loss. At the Tulane University greenhouse, what's happening here isn't just a day in the garden. It's a special experiment, part of an idea born in the backyard of a fraternity house. We were a bit fed up that we couldn't recycle our glass, that all of the wine bottles we were drinking were going to the landfill, and so we decided to just do something about it. As seniors at Tulane University, Francisca Troutman and a friend dreamed up Glass Half Full, New Orleans' only glass recycling center where they turn glass bottles into sand with an even bigger mission in mind. I always heard growing up, we lose a football field's worth of land every 100 minutes. It's daunting. And so we thought if we could turn this glass into sand and then rebuild our coast, that would be the ultimate win-win. But they needed help. The issue is how do we get there? You know, we can't just dump the sand on the coast willy nilly and do whatever we want. Um, you know, there's a process. We have to get approval. We have to make sure it's safe. And that's where my professors came in. Fran still calls me Dr. Albert, but she's welcome to call me Julie if she wants to. Julie Albert, Tulane Associate Professor of the Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering Department, partnered with Troutman and a team of other scientists using grant money to conduct a feasibility study with a goal of determining whether the glass sand can be used in coastal habitats and where it could go to reduce land loss. I think a lot of people don't realize that you can't just put sand in, you know, on the coastline and say, all right, you know, this is it. We did it. We we're building the coast. It kind of, it, there's more steps that need to be taken. Right. I think um, there, are, there are two things. One is the scale. I don't think you fully appreciate until you go out there and you see how large some of these features are. And then we actually did the calculation for how much sand you would need. And it's, you know, despite what you can see behind me in terms of their load, it's a drop in the bucket for what you would need for a project that size. So they're starting small with experiments like this one to see if marsh plants can thrive in the recycled sand. Oh, wow. So the really fine sand is super fine. Well, we think it's super fine. It turns out um, people who study sand consider this to be coarse sand. Really? This is this was another um, thing that we learned about the project is again, researchers from different fields, you know, in terms of their qualitative characterization of materials, right? Something that we think of as fine is actually considered rather coarse. So the coarser sand is really good to make sure that the sand stays and doesn't get washed away. So the heavier it is, the less it'll wash away. All right, so this is the machine. <laughs> At glass half full, glass bottles go through a glass pulverizer that crushes it up into chunky sand or gravel. From there, it's sifted with a mechanical sieve into five different sizes. The finest is like your usual mason sand, probably, um, comparable to that. And then this is what's called coarse sand. And then any bigger than this is actually considered gravel. So the next size up that we have is gravel. The amount of sand that's created here, is it enough to help rebuild the coast? So it's enough for what we're trying to do now. We're starting very small. We're starting with projects like building ridges and um, replenishing land and not necessarily rebuilding and restoring miles of coastline yet. We're not there. But Troutman and the rest of the team believe it can work eventually. So the goal at the end of the day is to, number one, for us to be able to recycle glass for all of New Orleans and even the greater New Orleans region because there's no municipality right now in Louisiana that recycles their glass. And so really being able to provide glass recycling for Louisiana to turn that glass into a reusable resource for our coast, for disaster relief, and then, you know, ideally being able to restore our land and not wash away. <laughs> it's just a matter of proving it can be done safely right here on the coast of Louisiana. Reporting Olivia Vidal, Fox 8, Local First. The recycled glass sand must also go through a chemical analysis to make sure it's clean and not introducing harmful components to the environment and marine life. The Tulane team of scientists hopes by the start of next year, they'll be able to test the sand in small controlled areas of coastal Louisiana.